what's going on youtube my name is jason and in today's short review we will be looking at the seagull 1963 reissue what i've got here is the one with the sapphire dome crystal this is a 38 millimeters case size luck to luck we are talking about 47 millimeters so it's a very petite watch but sizing it's true to its uh, period all right so there's a lot of things that has already been said about this but just let me play it in the light let me play it down in the light uh, some of the hours are some of the hour markers are in arabic numerals and the rest are in uh yes batons let me activate the stopwatch function there i say the stopwatch function okay let's wait at this mark there you go so the pushers you have to get, give it a good push all right so let's let me just take out the strap so i think the value add commentary i can give is that uh, this i believe isn't made at the original seagull factory otherwise the pricing will be much more expensive i bought it from a local guy in singapore for about uh, four or five hundred dollars I've seen the prices on Chinese websites and it should be sell, retailing at uh, close to 800, 800 Singapore dollars. So the key difference is that the one that is made by the Seagull factory has got a solid display case back. I believe it has got a solid display case back showing the ST, uh, not, not showing the ST19 movement. All right. But uh, this is made under license, I believe. And so it, it has Zhong Guo Zhi Zhao, but it doesn't say which factory. Alright, so let me stop the timer for a while. Let me press. So this is a Seagull watch made under license. So let's just look at the case back. And let's just read, read off Chinese words. So starting from after the two stars, it says... So essentially this is the the number one flieger, the first flieger reissue. The Chinese Air Force first flieger's reissue. So do you need to see any more details on the movement? It's a beautiful boom movement. I've bought another seagull. Uh, maybe one two years back but I've seen Sony and they all use pretty much the same movement said to be uh, machines they acquired from a Swiss company Venus other interesting facts is that uh, Seagull is the one of the world's largest manufacturers of movement after Seiko and Citizen but one of the things that I just cannot grapple with is that uh, watches that are designed by Seagull they are so much more expensive than all the AliExpress homages Okay, so I'll just leave it down and I'll crack on with the next review and I'm getting some fatigue but I need to archive it in 5k so that you can watch it on your high-def television. See you in the next one.